In this episode of the People Ski Test, we review the 2024 Head Oblivion 102. My name's Sean Ennis, I'm 26, I live in Rossland, BC, and I'm a tree planter. I'm 5 foot 7 and 150 pounds. I've been skiing since I was 4 years old, and I spend most of my time touring and skiing pow. And I'm reviewing the Head Oblivion 102 in a 181. I liked how this was a very supportive and symmetrical ski. I found it really playful, it was also still there to have my back when I wanted to charge. I mostly skied some lower angle front sides cruising for jumps. This ski is best suited for very playful terrain. Jumps, bumps, carbon groomers, side hits, all sorts of stuff like that. I also took it into some deeper, tighter tree terrain and it was great as well. The ski is great for chalky, soft snow, bit of hard pack, groomer, uh, anything up to about boot deep paddle. I would recommend this ski to people looking for something they can take in the park as well as on the entire mountain. I would even say probably a beginner if they had the right length of ski could take this out and an advanced skier could have a lot of fun as well. Head's Oblivion line is all about progression of creativity on the mountain. So collaborating on it with Head's most forward thinking free skier, Cole Richardson, was a no-brainer for the iconic brand. The Oblivion 102 is equipped with a twin tip sandwich carbon construction with TNT rocker for more durability, but plenty of playfulness in the tip and tail, and an innovative recycled PET wood core, which uses poplar with recycled PET pawl stringers to create a lightweight and low environmental impact construction. For more information on the ski, follow the link below this video, and be sure to like and subscribe to watch more product reviews from the People Ski Test in our playlist.